What started as a miniature version of a one story home will soon come to life. When I went to the site, the machine wasn't running, but behind me, you're getting a look at how it works. This has been in three hours and three hours and 45 minutes to be uh, sudden. The walls of this house located on East 26th Avenue is being built layer by layer. Local contractor Mayo McKinday is using equipment from Spain and in another 13 hours, it should be complete. This house will be 11 foot up walls will be erected. While this industry is still relatively new, McKinday believes there are a lot of benefits to building a home with a 3D printer versus yeah. the traditional way. It's less time, less people, less material. Uh, less money. He says four people are needed to run the machine, which spans the entire site. This is where the future is at. Columbus City Council member Shayla Favor says as we continue to deal with the region's growing housing and homelessness crisis, being innovative is a must. Adding that housing is a human right and everyone deserves a place to call home. In a statement sent to me, it reads in part, quote, just like zoning reform, tiny homes and emergency rental assistance. 3D printed homes is one tool in our toolbox to combat the housing crisis. The house is expected to be completed by the end of the month, and once it's complete, people will be able to tour it. McKinday says that there are talks to do more work within the city of Columbus.